Now, with most of the Raya festivities drawing to a close, attention is back on the market tomorrow with news that domestic spending is recovering well and that second quarter results have been surprisingly upbeat. And so to pick his brain on how to make the most of this news for the remainder of this year and onward into 2010, we're happy to welcome live to the studio Andrew Lee, Head of Research at Maybank Investment Bank. Welcome, Andrew. Thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. It's great to be here. <laughs> okay. Now, in a recent report that you did for Maybank IB, you concluded that second quarter net profits clearly show that corporate earnings are moving out of recession territory. Um, and just last week, we had our Bank Nagara governor saying that domestic demand is on the up. Is it safe to say that the worst is over, Andrew? Yes, I think so. I think um, from a number of perspectives, if you look at, for example, corporate earnings, in the second quarter, corporate earnings actually bounced up. Uh, quite convincingly by about, I think, about 17% or so uh, quarter on quarter um, after about four consecutive quarters of decline. You know. And um, if you just strip out one of the sectors, uh, um, I think that's airlines, then corporate earnings uh, bounced up even a sharp, uh, more sharply by about 24%. So yes, I think um, we, from a corporate perspective, we probably have seen the worst of um, the recession. And beyond that, if you look at some of the consumption indicators, uh, auto sales are up, advertising spending is up, um, a number of, uh, if, if you look at uh, uh, the sum of um, a number of consumer stocks that we watch, uh, the sales of all these consumer stocks have actually uh, not fallen uh, in the past two quarters. They've been, they've been gradually rising by about 5% or so. so um, the Malaysian consumer overall hasn't been badly hit and is returning and, is, uh, and has continued to spend and I think will probably spend more over the next few quarters. Now you mentioned those um, particular corporates that are doing well. What about the ones that underperformed your expectations? Um, the ones that underperformed would be sectors such as uh, building materials, um, such as um, airlines. And um, for both of these, it's, it's quite, uh, it, it's quite um, simple to understand that uh, for the airlines, it's, it's, a, it's very much a, it's a global sector and we, we're going to have to wait probably another two, three quarters to see a real recovery in that. Uh, for the building materials, it's very dependent on uh, spending in the construction sector and we haven't seen a big pickup in that simply because a lot of the um, government stimulus plans um, haven't taken off yet, um, the spending hasn't come through yet and it will probably happen uh, from the fourth quarter onwards and into next year. Much of the spending that we expect is probably going to happen next year from the, from the government and from the, on the, into the construction sector rather than uh, in, in, the past, in, in the past couple of quarters. Now, based on these latest set of results, um, are there any notable downgrades or upgrades in the recommendations that Maybank has made? Um, yes, we have made um, significant upgrades in the banking sector mm -hmm. um, and some in the plantation sector. Um, I think the main ones would be um, mainly in, in the finance in the finance stocks, and um, that is for for two reasons. Firstly, that um, loan growth has been slightly stronger than we had expected, but also the NPL, the non-performing ratios um, of, of uh, the banks have been much more well behaved, much lower than we had expected. And um, that, those are the reasons why we, we have moved up our numbers. Um, okay. That's great, great news. Let's turn our attention uh, very quickly to your other recently released report on your outlook for 2010. You say that you believe domestic factors will remain positive for equities in 2010. What are your reasons for this? Well, uh, quite a few. Uh, firstly, that um, we think uh, policy, government policy will be very pro-growth uh, well into 2010. Uh, fiscal policy will see the maximum impact from all the, all the uh, spending the stimulus plans uh, that will come through into the construction sector and which will have a much more diversified uh, multiplier effect into the rest of the economy. Uh, beyond that, uh, the accommodative monetary policy that's already in place will continue and we don't expect uh, interest rates to rise for pretty much all of 2010. 
Um, so with a very accommodative monetary policy, we will see um, consumers benefit, property stocks benefit, the property sector, um, as well as finance stocks, that will also benefit. Um, but um, also in 2010, we are projecting something like uh, an 11, 12% increase in corporate earnings. Mm -hmm. And into 2011, we expect a similar uh, pace of growth in corporate earnings. So if you have a couple of years of mid, low to mid-teens growth in corporate earnings, um, you know, we can expect the stock market to uh, do pretty well. Um, and also we can expect, I think, uh, consumers to continue to, well, not continue, but continue to co consumers to begin to spend more, uh, particularly as uh, job security improves and sentiment improves. Okay, now we'll just put that thought on hold and go for a short break. When we come back, we'll continue this very interesting discussion with Andrew Lee of Maybank Investment Bank. You can send any questions that you may have for Andrew to stockwatch at tv3.com.my. We'll be right back.